going to solve the 2016 AP Environmental Science Free Response Question number two, which is the math question each year. So the math part is A and B, and go ahead and take a minute to pause and read the prompt. And now we'll go, we'll go ahead and solve for A. Whenever you're solving an FRQ math, sometimes it takes a few minutes to just sort of jot down some numbers, wrap your head around it. Do not panic if you can't solve it at first. I've been solving these FRQs for over a decade and every year I have to pause and take a minute and look at it myself to sort of wrap my head around how to solve it. So do make sure that you take the time and you leave yourself enough time on the AP test to solve these problems. So let's solve A. Use the data below to respond to the following. For each calculation, show all your work. A1, calculate the weight in tons of rock waste produced globally each year when iron ore is converted to pig iron. So my, let's see, I want iron ore and I want pig iron up here. So if I look at my chart, here's pig iron, here's uh, iron ore, um, and then pig iron. I don't need the reserves yet, and I don't need steel production yet. So I'm just gonna use the first two givens. And if we take 1.6 billion, you can just leave the word billion. You don't have to write out all the zeros. 1.6 billion tons of ore, and I'm gonna subtract that we get out of that 1.2 billion, and so we're gonna have some waste ore left. And this is a pig iron. So I'm gonna have some waste from this process, and I'm going to end up with 0 0.4 billion tons of waste. So this was a simple subtraction problem. Not every problem on the AP test is going to be complicated. Some are simple addition or simple subtraction, and you can figure those out. You just have to take a minute to figure out what are they asking you to do. What subtracting, what adding, or multiplying, simple multiplication, simple division. So take a minute to figure that out. The next one is AII. Calculate the weight in tons of pig iron that could be produced if all the estimated global iron ore reserves were used for pig iron production. So this one takes a minute to figure out what they want you to do because it's saying that we have 800 billion tons in reserve, and so that's on our given up here. So 800 billion tons are in reserve, and if we use it all, how much pig iron are we gonna get? And we can't just multiply 800 billion by either one of these, because um, we have to subtract out the, the waste product, and so the best thing to do is to come up with a proportion or what percentage of, of, um, of the actual 1.6, what percentage actually makes it into pig iron? So let's define the percentage. And so one way to do that would be to take um, 1.2 and divide it by 1.6. And I'm going to end up getting what percentage actually makes it into pig iron minus the waste. And so I can go ahead and do this long division problem to get the percentage. And I'm gonna move the decimal point one here, and I'm gonna move it one here, and then I'm gonna put the decimal point at the top. So my new problem is 16 goes into 12. It doesn't go in at all. So here's my decimal, I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna add a zero. 16 does go into 127 times. And so off to the side, you can do some math over here. So I'm gonna subtract 112. I'm going to get a remainder of eight. I'm gonna add a zero, I'm gonna drop it down. And 16 goes into 80. 
five times, but let's go ahead and check it, do the math off to the side, it does. So it looks like 75% of the um, iron ore is converted into pig iron. All right, so we have a 75% um, usage here. So now once I get that, now I can go ahead and do AII. And so we have eight hundred billion. Oops, I'm sorry, I messed up right here. So eight hundred billion times point seven five, and we're going to end up. Let me go ahead and do the math out. And this is 600 billion tons of pig iron can be made from all of the reserves. And so that is the answer to AII. So the next question asks you to talk about steel. So what if we took all those reserves and we turned it into steel instead? So A3. So the given up at the top in the box says 95% of iron ore that is mined is used in steel production. So instead, if we wanted to turn that into steel instead of pig iron, um, we could just write 800 billion. Oh, I did that again. I just write 800 billion. I don't want to put all the zeros out. And this is a real simple. So sometimes. It gets easier as you go, so that's 95%. So if you cannot solve one, don't give up. Like if you could not figure out AII, don't give up. Just skip it, go to the next one, because you didn't need the answer to A2 to go to A3. And A3 is actually an easier problem. So don't give up and go to the next problem and try the next problem. And my answer here is 760 billion tons of steel. Make sure you know how to work with percentages if you need to review that. All right, so we now have B. So you have a little prompt there about recycling and go ahead and make sure you read that. And then it says, calculate the weight in tons of coal that is conserved each year in North America by recycling steel. So there's two givens up there. It says 1.5 fewer tons of iron ore and 0.7 fewer tons of coal must be mined. And we actually don't need that number 1.25. So the AP test will sometimes give a number that you never need. So don't be thrown off by that. The number we need is 0.7 because the... B asks us to calculate the weight of coal only. So it says for every million, 80 million, sorry, tons of steel, um, when we recycle, we use 0.7 fewer tons of coal. So times 0.7, and we end up with 560, decimal moves there because we have one here, we have to move it here. And so our answer is that we can actually use 56 million tons of coal. We can use less of this. So this is the amount of coal that is saved. So again, another pretty simple multiplication problem. You just need to figure out what numbers to multiply and how to set up the problem. Also, notice on this problem that you did not need to know anything about pig iron. I don't ever teach my students about pig iron. And, and the year that my students took this exam in 2016, we looked at the FRQs when they were, were released by the College Board two days after the test. And 
You didn't need to have to know about pig iron at all. So don't be thrown off if there is some word you don't know. It's okay on the math problem. You don't always need to know the definitions of the word to solve the problem. And that's it.